friends uh, uh, welcome to my new video on this set uh, today I'm going to uh, show you something that is very interesting in this set okay so uh, as per your request to uh, how to plot in PSAT okay the, basically PSAT is used by those pa, uh, those students or engineers power engineers uh, who would like to know the variations or changes uh, in bus voltage or bus frequency or bus current power active power reactive power in various parts of the network so first of all we have to model the, that uh, network in sim, in a symbolic file okay so let's begin that okay we are we are going to plot uh, the variations in various parameters okay so let's make a new file here uh, that is a model file uh, my plot uh, is at okay and open it and just I open it here and this is empty so we have to fill it with only the symbolic or uh, not uh, that MATLAB symbolic blocks rather the PSAT okay from the PSAT library symbolic library so for that uh, uh, okay I have to open PSAT here PSAT here it's gonna open now and it will open with it open here. okay so uh, it's taking time okay. so here is our PSAT and here is the simulating library okay so we're going to find it here okay, so these are all the libraries these are all the libraries these are buses you you, you must be familiar with all of these components if you are not familiar then uh, you can search in YouTube various videos and you can find it about that okay so you can just drag and drop uh, those files on our new symbolic model here okay so you can just drag it here okay so just drag it here and make a network you can model a network okay so I have already uh, uh, make a model here uh, which is I called it this is as music first and it and it, yeah. okay so um, uh, here is my model okay so in order to uh, uh, absorb the variations I have uh, just put a fault here okay this is a fault and which has the total fault time of 0.5 seconds and for clear time 0.2 seconds you can manually change this okay so what happens to the bus port days or the reactive power changes or what will do the ABR what will be the response of the ABR okay so uh, how these parameters changes with the fault so we are uh, just, uh, we are going to look at look at that okay so let's do that okay first first uh, I'm going to load that file here uh, I'm going to load okay it's in my desktop as we first uh, and okay I, I just forgot to, uh, to say one thing here you have to always save the file in in not dot slx but dot mdl okay just remember it you have to save the file in dot mdl okay so it's in mdl a to b in mdl okay so select here mdl file preset simulating dot mdl and i have selected folder as desktop and this is my fcd spg first dot mdl file okay so i just load it and it's going to loading yes let's just get load and i just power flow it's gonna yes it's just converges and now it's the power flow and uh, you can uh, you all uh, do the uh, iterations uh, and find the bus voltages or uh, reactive power flow or active power flow 
and all that. But here we are going to do some plots. So we have to do some time domain analysis. Okay, so here is going to be a constant in the means. You can, you can say it no there. And in time domain, okay, what uh, singularly likely? Similarly, okay, so here is upper some similarity that is some infinite case. So again, you can do just is here. I, It's gonna solve the, all the problem there and uh, okay. Now, okay, this is just completed. Now go to plot uh, and here are all the variables here, okay, all the parameters. Now you can select any of that with respect to any of that. It is the y axis and it is x axis. Okay, I have in x axis I just take time and in y axis let's take bus 2. Okay, what is that? Bus 2. Let's see. Bus 2. Okay, bus 2 voltage. How the bus voltage will change? Now time, let's just pick the time, bus 2, and I just get it. Okay, here is the result. Sorry. Here is the result. And here you can see the result. Okay, so you can zoom it here. Zoom in. Yeah. You can zoom in how the change is happening here. Okay, so you can see at zero point almost seven seconds the four what is uh, drop very sharply and it's just after the clearing of fault it just rises to it just rises to here yes rises to here okay so you can do all sort of these plots with respect to any of that okay let's take verse 3 you can do same plot okay at verse 3 that is, that is not uh, there's not any difference and all that okay how the excitations sorry how the excitation changes? Yes, it's a very vast fluctuation. Uh, okay, so thank you for uh, uh, watching this video, uh, and I will, um, of course, uh, make new videos to you. Okay, thank you for watching.